there's one thing that I know to be true about myself is that I love making up fake scenarios inside my head. <laughs> about falling in love, of course. What else? I am the human embodiment of every single tweet you've ever seen that says something along the lines of, I need to envision myself being passionately made out with in order to fall asleep every night. That's how I've been built. So we've been doing the dating app thing and we're not gonna talk about how that's been going because you can watch all my other videos. This is what I do on this channel. If you're here, we do be talking. But like a dating app meeting story isn't like the sexiest story ever. Like being like, oh, we met on a dating app. So in my head, we met on our first date. I actually didn't meet you on a dating app. We met at the restaurant, at the bar, at fucking the coffee shop, the park, wherever our first date is, that is where we met inside my head. But you know, just because I'm on the dating apps doesn't mean that I am opposed to meeting people in other ways. I would love a good me cute moment just as much as the next bitch would. So you know, when I am out and about living my life, I would be lying if I said that I didn't sometimes think about, I don't know, like being in the park sitting and reading my book and then some cutie is also reading a book at the bench next to me. And we have like this like, ha ha ha. Oh my God, we're both reading the same book. You're shopping in the grocery store and you both back up into each other at the same time you say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're at a coffee shop and you ask them to watch your bag while you go to the bathroom. And you come back and you're like, oh my God, thank you so much. I really like your sweater, by the way. But today, I thought it might be fun to style some outfits for different little made up scenarios. Little meet cute moments. <laughs> what would I wear if I was gonna meet someone and fall in love at a coffee shop? In this made up universe, what am I wearing? So I think I'm going to pair a different scent with every single one of the outfits that I have planned because I am that bitch and don't you fucking forget it. And today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Scentbird. If you've never heard of them, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try out a new designer fragrance every single month for just $16. They come in these very handy, very portable little cases that you just twist up and it has the perfume sample inside, which this bottle will last you about 30 days. You just go to their website and you fill out a quiz that'll help you figure out what types of fragrances would be best suited for you. They send them over, you try it out, and hopefully you find a fragrance that you really love. Personally, I like to switch up my fragrances kind of by season. I definitely have some perfumes that I wear all the time because I just love them. And Scents by Rag and Bone being one of them, I did find this through Scentbird a few years ago. But I like to keep trying new ones and rotating in some new scents as the seasons change. And I do that because it's fun and I like smelling good and like trying different perfumes, but also because I feel like scent is so attached to memory and there's something so nostalgic about spraying on a perfume that you used to wear a few years ago and like it just brings you right back to that moment and so I don't know this is corny but I always think about how like I really want to remember this time in my life and I think that the way life is right now is so special and I think that perfumes and scents are just something that really stick with you and that bring back the nostalgia years and years later so I like trying to bunch out. <laughs> what a Pisces thing for me to say, I hate it so much. Some of the scents that I'm going to be pairing with my outfits in today's video are Electric Wood by Room 1015, Almost Single by Confessions of a Rebel, then we have Cabin Retreat by Memoir Archives, and then lastly I've got Get a Room also by Confessions of a Rebel. So if you're interested in trying out Scentbird and finding some new fragrances that might work for you or trying some of the scents that I'm featuring in today's video, you can use code MD55 for 55% off your first month which ends up being around seven all the links to these fragrances are gonna be listed in the description down below. And thank you again to Sedford for sponsoring today's video. All right, first up, we're doing the coffee run fit. I figure like statistically speaking, just on frequency of locations that I inhabit, maybe the percentage of likeliness that I meet someone at a coffee shop is slightly higher since I'm there all the fucking time. So I'm gonna wear what I would typically wear to a coffee shop. I'm not gonna like, wear an outfit that I wouldn't actually wear to just do a coffee run. But I'm gonna try to style what I would wear, maybe a little bit more fun. I'm like seriously doubting the vision I have inside my head, so we'll see. So for a quick coffee run, I'm usually just wearing one of my active wear sets from Girlfriend Collective. So I'm gonna start with just a plain black set because this is probably gonna be the easiest to figure out what to do with. 
I've seen quite a few people style activewear sets with blazers to sort of dress them up a little bit. I like the blazer and baseball cap look. I've never worn anything like that and there's a part of me that just doesn't know it was gonna be my thing, but I want to try it. Try to elevate this active set with a blazer and a baseball cap. We'll see. <laughs> This blazer is from H&M and it's probably the blazer that I own that is like the most neutral standard type blazer. All of my other blazers are like neon colors. So I figured that this one is probably going to be the best. I don't hate it. I think obviously to pull off something like this well you have to seriously accessorize. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This is the only baseball hat that I have and it's covered in hair. <laughs> it's just like what can you do? with black clothes and you have an animal, right? Like, I can only do so much. What's more annoying than my black clothes though is my bathroom has black floors. <sighs> Don't even get me started. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the black tile is cute. It looks nice, but God damn it. When you have a cat, I mop the floors, I clean the bathroom and not 20 minutes later is it covered in cat hair. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wear all of my typical gold jewelry for this go. You know, someone on TikTok, we could talk about people on TikTok for hours and hours and hours, and I prefer to pretend that people on TikTok are not real people. They are bots sent by like one rogue person. <laughs> I don't wanna believe that there's this many people that are like actually out of their fucking minds with how they speak to strangers on the internet. So I prefer not to think about TikTok comments, however. I posted something on TikTok last week. It was just like an outfit video. And pff, we all know how awful people can be towards plus size women who make fashion content. This is no secret, no surprise. Fat phobia exists. Oh, wow, I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But on top of that, when you are a fat woman that doesn't dress in neutrals, and you're loud with your fashion, and you take up space. A little bit of an eyesore, as they say. People get like legitimately fucking angry. I don't get it. <laughs> like, why do you care what I wear? But people come out the woodwork with the, no, oh, your shit's tacky, this outfit is so fucking, whatever. They're just so boring. I'm like, just say that you wouldn't know how to dress yourself in color the way that I do. Just say it. Just say you're mad that a fat bitch dresses better than you, even though I have half the options. I'm sorry. <laughs> so anyways, I'm sure the anti-fun colors and clothes people would love the outfit that I'm wearing right now if they weren't also fat phobic. We've got layers to why people don't like me on TikTok here. And listen, I like neutrals too. I feel like I didn't really enter my colorful outfit phase until like September of last year. So it hasn't even really been a full year that I've been a colorful ass bitch. I feel like my style has just been continuously evolving. I've been having a lot of fun. And some people are just fucking haters about it. So anyways, this one is dedicated to all the boring people on TikTok that would prefer that I only wear neutrals all the time. You'll get it today for my coffee run because it's fucking cute, but make no mistake, I would do the same fit in neon pink head to toe. And don't you fucking forget it. This might be a little crazy, but I actually think that it's gonna work because I have purple hair. But I feel like if I did this outfit, with a fanny pack cross body, it would be kind of a serve. So this one is from Baboon to the Moon. I've seen them all over TikTok as being like size inclusive for plus size bodies. Cause so many fanny packs have like the tiniest little strap that you can't even. This is probably my favorite color to a T actually. So all of you take a look, memorize it in case you ever fall in love with me and have to buy me a gift. This is my favorite color. <laughs> Do we like it? Are we living and loving for this little moment that's going on here? It's a little out of my element, but I think it's kind of fun. And my coffee run scent of the day is going to be Electric Wood by Room 1005. One of you guys DM'd me the other day and said you're surprised that I haven't met anyone at bake shop since I'm at this coffee shop all the goddamn time. And you know what? Me too, babes. <laughs> but the thing is, I feel like usually I'm the only person here or there's a ton of couples here. I don't know, maybe I just don't run into a lot of people here. There's also only three tables. So 
it's more of like a stop in and go kind of place and there's always available spots like every time I come and sit here outside and inside like I'm the only one sitting there's nobody that stays here so that definitely plays a role here but I'll sit out here for hours and I'll just like sit and people come by and they'll compliment my hair my outfits my nails but you know people just keep walking by and I'm like but stay like compliment me and then compliment me again and again and again and stay and get my number and I don't know <laughs> I don't know it's hard when you're on a sidewalk and people are just walking past you because it's so temporary it's a fleeting interaction and I'm like no no stay flirt with me I don't know maybe if I sit out here long enough in fact one person already walked by and complimented me introduced themselves gave me their name i was like i live in the neighborhood i'll see you around i was like mm, period probably won't but period if i do <laughs> all right i just got back from coffee let's go to the park shall we honestly i really just want to sit by the water and read today i'm sorry <sighs> so i'm gonna go do that and i'm gonna look hot while i do it because really, meeting someone at the park while reading is like one of my top five meet cute dream scenarios. Honestly, every single time I've gone to the park, I've been approached by a weirdo. We're gonna forget about that. We're bringing good vibes, good energy today. Only cool people will talk to me, and if they're weird, they will not even see me. I am invisible to weirdos. I have no idea what I'm wearing, but what I do know is that it's like 70 degrees out right now. So I kind of want to wear some of the shorts that I got. Okay, so here are options for shorts. We can either go with these faded grape work shorts from Big Bud Press, or we keep it a little bit more plain, a little bit more classic, and wear these white shorts, off-white shorts from Ray. These are serving hot girl reading a book in the Hamptons for me, so I, I kind of want to wear them. What is up with me today? Where is all my color going? Did the TikTok bulliers work on me? So these are the shorts. I think they're very friggin' cute. Okay, I think I'm onto something. Ah! This underbust corset peeking out from these little shorts with this lavender top. You're on a rum slang. What can I say? <laughs> so maybe this cardigan from And Other Stories? Or I have that cream jacket from Aritzia, but I feel like... Adding in some more purple is kind of a slay. Jeez, were none of you gonna tell me that the bra I was wearing was dejuicifying the juicers? Took one look at myself in the mirror and I was like, take that bitch off. The accessory you need the most right now is your nipples. So I brought them out and this outfit already looks so much nicer. You can't even really tell on camera, but I had a little bralette on because that's a crop top that I'm wearing and I pulled it down. So I felt like I needed a bra just in case. I like tripped and fell or something. <laughs> Cause I don't wear bras, but sometimes in my head I'm like, okay, I think I need to wear a bralette under this outfit in case disaster strikes because a boob could pop out in this outfit very easily. Cause that, that top underneath is not secure. If disaster struck, nipples would have been on the concrete, but these are the risks that you take. I feel like I'm just gonna wear this with sneakers. I'm gonna put my hair up in a little clippy clip, put on my headphones, book in hand, bag. We need to figure out bag. Sunglasses, okay, we're not done. <laughs> hair is up in my little clippy. Oh, she's cute as fuck. <laughs> headphones on, I think I'm gonna go with this checkered bagu bag because I just feel like this is a whole vibe. And then if it gets too sunny out, bang, baby. I'm so freaking cute. Who is allowing this? All right, I'm gonna pack myself a sandwich and then we're gonna go sit by the water and read a book. Guys, life is good. All right, give me one of those t-shirts that all the 40 year old women had in 2006. Life is good. And last but not least, I'm going to be pairing this outfit with Almost Single by Confessions of a Rebel, baby. I'm cute. I smell good. I'm reading an interesting book at the park. What is not to fucking love about me? Next up, I'm going to a rooftop bar with my friend Abby. It is rooftop season, bitches. And I feel like the next logical place on the list of 
possible locations to have a meet cute is a bar. But it has to be like a specific type of bar to like facilitate conversation and actually have like a productive, nice, romantic conversation with a stranger. Most bars don't facilitate that environment, but I actually do think that rooftop bars are an environment that do kind of facilitate that because one, rooftop bars are kind of a daytime drinking thing. So if you're going to a rooftop bar, that's probably where you're starting to drink. So I just feel like nobody's ever really that drunk at a rooftop bar. You're just like sipping on an Aperol spritz and like eating a cheese board. So there's some conversation that can be had. So anyways, I really wanna style these purple shoes from Circus. And I just got this dress and I am so excited about this one. So I think that these are like the two main moments we have going on here, but we're gonna of course spruce it up a little bit with some accessories and um, see what we can do. So this one shoulder dress is from Ray. It's from their spring collection. And I am so obsessed with it. It's a little long on me, so I'm gonna have to get it tailored, but that's okay. This is how long it is. So it, it is dragging on the floor, even if I wore heels, like high, high heels, it was still dragging on the floor. So what we're gonna do is tie it in a knot. It's not like the most ideal way to wear a dress or a skirt, but if there's one thing I know about myself is that like, I get way too excited about new clothes that if I get something and it drags on the floor and I'm gonna have to take it to a tailor or something, like I, I, I can't, stop myself from wearing it before it gets made into like the right fit for me. So anyways, this is what we'll do for now, just so that I can wear it and be comfy wearing it. I feel like I wanna go like full quirky art teacher with this look. So I'm gonna be wearing my delete my number necklace. And then I kind of wanna wear my grapefruit earrings. I said grapefruit, but that's definitely not a grapefruit. What fruit is that? Guava? What fruit is that? I'm having a senior moment. What fucking fruit is that? Holy shit. Maybe it's a guava? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude, what fucking fruit is this? It, no, it's dragon fruit, isn't it? Dragon fruit earrings. All right, I got it. <laughs> and then to finish it off, I'm just gonna drape this sweater over my shoulders. So this is my pink and purple fantasy. Out on a rooftop, somewhere drinking an Aperol spritz, living my best fucking life. Perfume I'm gonna pair with this one. Fittingly, I picked the pink bottle. This is Confessions of a Rebel Get a Room. All right, the last outfit that I wanna style is connected to a personal fantasy of mine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I talked about this before and I feel a little self-conscious talking about it because I feel like very aware of the fact that my neighbors might be able to hear me and this is about them. <laughs> I feel like it would be so fun to fall in love with someone who lived in the same apartment building as me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like a little elevator romance. You're on the same floor. You see each other all the time. I do hang out on the roof a lot. Like I'm, I'm visible, okay? And I'm kind of hard to forget with the purple hair and all. So I feel like if you're gonna fall in love with anyone in this apartment building, I've got a good shot. I'm in the running. <laughs> so now you're asking, Maddie, what do you wear for an elevator meet cute, rooftop meet cute in the place where you live? And I think my philosophy behind this one is it's just supposed to be an outfit that I style quickly. So it's convenient. You know, I'm just going up to the roof. I'm still like in my house. I'm just up at the roof in a common area where I could potentially meet someone, but it has to look effortless and a little bit homey, a little bit comfy. There's a part of me that kind of wants to style sweatpants or what if I styled a bra okay <laughs> how's about that for girl next door <coughs> okay hear me out I feel like maybe my key to liking summer fashion more is just doing cute things with my hair and letting my hair carry the weight of the outfit because like it's cute, it's just boring to me though. But 
imagine I'm just going up to the roof to read my little book, drink my little coffee, a little casual summer fit. I think it's what we needed. I'm always doing too much and this is like the bare minimum for me. So I'm kind of feeling good that we've got an array of efforts being put in here. Let's add on our final step, which is memoir cabin retreat, which this might be my favorite fragrance of the bunch here. If you've ever been to the one hotel in Brooklyn, I'm so fucking sure that this is the scent that they load their hallways up in. It smells the fucking same. And that's it for this video. If you liked all of my cute little outfits, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post a lot more fashion Maddie content. If you like me, you'll like my other social media profiles. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.